Hello YouTube and welcome to your seventh tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we're going to be covering more random terrain generation, right? Okay, um, let's wait for Eclipse to load. There's another thing, if you clearly could not see that was Eclipse, and I'm really sorry for you. But you need to go get something checked out, I don't know what. Alright, so, um, let me just exit out of these because they're spoilers, you know, you don't, I don't want you seeing what's coming up in the next update now, I want it to be a surprise. Alright, so, um, last time we learned about block images, block dirt, block stone, blocks, um, stone, let's change this, you could go to, um, refractor, rename, let's name it block, and, so, you know, block and block images are aligned. Alright, um, so this is what basically I told you about last time. There's a world gen, and that's going to generate our world. Right now it's empty. There's, um, creation, that's going to like initialize the whole thing. Block stone, it will return the stone image. Same with dirt. So block images, we can clearly see, we put it in like that. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to be using our block method. And, I'm really sorry guys, but we're going to be using multi-dimensional arrays to keep track of our blocks. Now, you might be probably cursing at your mother or something, throwing your fists into the air, but trust me, you need to use a multi-dimensional array when it comes to something like this. Alright, so um, let's uh, just start. Public void. Do not make these static because there's going to be several different blocks. In fact, there's going to be like a million. Um, get, no, get type, right? Um, hmm, okay, and we'll return type. This will come, this will become useful later on. Um, private type, okay, um, hub, hold on. Um, private image get a uh, block image right um, okay okay I gotta make that a int import class um, yeah okay you have to make that an int all right um public void uh, no public um, image return image and then it's going to um, return get block image these are all going to be like um okay I'll, I don't know what I was doing there don't do um, get image sorry okay um could probably even get rid of that get because it's a little misleading so I'll return block image. Now this is where things are just a little bit harder. Um, public um, void uh, set type, and you're going to want the int type, right? Um, okay, so for set type, let's go down and if type equals one else if type no you know no there's an easier way there's a much easier way all right um we'll do um block images that's our variable equals block images that's our class dot public um let's make this static this has to be static so let's go back to block dot get block images and we'll just make the type right right um block image sorry I'm I'm like it's morning I'm really tired all right so you have that right and you can still run it nothing will happen so now we set that up let's go to world gen and we are hold on okay well, hold on, I just want to check something. Alright, so we have our creation.create in the board. So whenever board is created, 
it'll create the world, it'll generate the flat, and here we go. Um, in creation, let's do something real fast. Um, you guys are going to be really mad. Um, block blocks equals new block. Yep, you you probably wondering. Okay, you've seen an array before, but um, okay, we gotta do that. But what is this? Um, it's basically a nightmare when you first see it but it'll, again as I said it'll make things so much easier okay let's just put it up here um, the reason why is so that we can use it whenever we want we don't want it to die out when this um, thing is done you know because that, that's just bad we could even put like a semicolon right here so that the variables um, everywhere and they can make blocks our box equals that. There we go. Equal equal. Maybe we might want to put that before the road gen because we're going to be using that when we generate the flat. I hope this is making somewhat sense to you. Um, okay. Um, now let's do road gen. Generate flat. Um, for um, int x equals zero. In fact, actually, before I do that, let me explain something. You might be wondering. Okay, you're probably still confused as to why we have a multi-dimensional array. Let me just tell you. X is going to be all the x blocks. Y is going to be all the y blocks. So, um, and I'm going to pull paint.net again. This is the best way to explain it. You know, what, whatever. Um, so you have that, right? That's going to be block zero zero. Control or okay, that's going to be block um zero one or zero one. Is that right? No, that's um one zero. Yeah, as you can tell, it's going to be really fun, right? So um. Um, what is it? No, I, okay, either way, um, basically, it, it's much easier than you think it is, and, you know, as you can probably tell, this is going to be, um, um, let's see, I don't know, anyways, it's, it's going to make things much easier in the future, trust me, you might be thinking, okay, this guy's drunk, he doesn't even know what he's talking about, it, I promise you, it, will get better okay so 1200 um, x plus plus um, for int y equals 0 y does not equal 1200 y plus plus um, and then in fact hold on let's do um 100 um, and then yeah, okay, so for the first, um, no, let, let's go 30. Okay, um, now we go, um, let's go to creation. Let's make this protected static, which means all classes can use it, but anything else out of this package can't. So let's do creation dot blocks x y crap don't do that creation dot blocks x y dot set type zero these are going to be air blocks and as you can remember in block uh, block images there's nothing for zero it's just going to return null and that's what we want okay um 1200 so it goes to all, all the x ones now let's do um, for int y equals 30 y is not equal 33 let's set the type to 1 and then it's 4 equals 33 does not equal 1200 block type equals 20 
Okay, that's a mouthful. We can run it. Dun, 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 and it returns an error. Now, we're going to be really bright people and see why it returns an error. Hold on. Creation. Yeah, okay, that's normal. Um, dot set type equals zero. Okay, um, it's not liking that for some reason. I wonder real fast. If you run it, is it returning an error for everything or just that one? Okay, yep. It's not liking it. So, um, let's go to creation and look up why. Um, you know, okay, I'll end this tutorial. I'll figure out what's going on and I'll see you later. Yeah, um, okay, bye.